I always like to listen to the post-game comments of the managers and the players. They're in the box. They're in the fight. And when you hear one of the game's greatest, okay, saying that Jacob deGrom is maybe the best to ever do it, you start to take notice. I was at City Field the other day in the cages, and I'm listening to these guys talk about Aaron Judge. And you almost become, you have to become a fan of the elite elite because there's only 750 plus big leaguers at any given time. And there's a handful of guys that just do it a little bit differently than the rest. And we're going to dive in because I think everybody wanted to see this matchup. And what blows me away, let's get into it real quick. The Mookie Betts, Jacob DeGrom, mano a mano matchup. And you heard him talk about him living on the corners. First off, Mookie Betts has got 32 bombs. Okay, I don't think people truly realize the power source he has been for this Dodgers team. He does so many things, a true five tool talent, six tool if you add in the charisma as well. But pause this real quick for me. He talked about him living on the edges, but I want to focus on what's the pitch percentage usage of Jacob DeGrom. Can we bring that board up, please? Take a look at this. And the reason I bring this up Think of Max Scherzer. He's working with five pitches. Think of Justin Verlander, four to five. Corbin, all the elite of the elite in the game have multiple weapons to multiple quadrants to get these great hitters out. Jacob deGrom gets it done with two. Two pitches. He doesn't even need to incorporate this changeup he occasionally throws in there. It's four seam heater, 46.7% of the time. Nobody hits it, a dollar four, no one obviously slugs it. On the flip side, slider, 44%. Change up 5.6 and curveball three and a half. We'll kick that out. He's throwing that for show. So he is pitching like a reliever in the seventh, eighth, and ninth with a two pitch mix as a starter with a bull whip for a windup. It's the most efficient, easy, repeatable windup there is, and the power he generates and the finesse and elegance with which the ball comes out of his hand cannot be matched. Let's live on the edge. Let's get into these at bats a little bit right here. How do you handle all this if you're Mookie Betts? Bang, run that back for me. Take this into consideration, people. When I was playing, this was 92 to 94 miles an hour. Yeah, occasionally you'd see the big number jump up. We're just getting loose, okay? Two seam a little bit. It's probably four seam little arm side run at 101. Look at where this hits. I, I, not only can you are you taking that right out of the game, keep it going but you barely see that coming out. So he can just live there all day, okay? 101 kind of misses over the heart of the plate, and then he gives him a slider out over right there. He probably could have thrown another heater, <laughs> elevated it a little bit, and he would have got the swing and miss. I'm gonna take you to the second at bat. He does not deviate from anything. 99 black away, 100. So pause this for me. He is playing, you can eliminate this in if you're Mookie Betts. I almost think teams, if they're going to have a shot in heck in the postseason, everybody's got to get on the dish and almost give him something to think about. Like, ooh, maybe I got to do something a little bit different. Because if he's able to throw simulated bat in practice, he's going six to seven innings, punching out 11, two hits, and maybe someone runs into a homer. You're not putting an inning together against this guy. Run it. High heater, 101. I'm going to eventually get to a slider right here. 100 miles an hour off the plate. 2-2 two -two count. Filthy. Run that back for me. Mookie knows it's coming at some point, but you can't come off the heater. Look at where this is located. Strike, 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 strike. Ball. Unbelievable pitch right there. So I'm going to take you into the third at bat. This is the only way you score, and it's got to be one of the greats to be able to do it. So he gets ahead 0-1 right here. So pause this for me. Bring up Mookie's heat map if I can. Take a look at this. This is catcher's perspective, so flip around right here. So this is Mookie Betts hitting in the box. So what does he hammer? Anything middle in. So what does Jacob deGrom see, and what does he do well? Everything out over the plate, black off. Mookie doesn't handle it. You miss middle, you miss in, he torches you. 
Let's get back into the tape. He's just coming off a phenomenal series in Miami where Sandy Alcantara missed over the heart of the plate. Dylan Floro missed over the heart of the plate a little bit in and he takes you deep and it doesn't matter if it's heater. There's a little get me over kind of spinny cutter right there 92 and he puts you in auto nation. And this is why he's one of the best right you miss one time 93 two to one game right there but you can't deny what Jacob DeGrom is doing every time he goes out there with two pitches. He doesn't even need to incorporate other things to kind of get guys off stuff. He's telling you you can dive you can be out over the plate. I'm not coming inside. I got one hundred and one and a slider and I don't think you can hit it. That's awesome. Mookie Betts player of the week along with a friend of the show Nathaniel, yeah. Nathaniel Lowe. Uh, they will conclude this series this afternoon in Queens 410 Eastern time with the US Open also right across the street. Traffic should be pretty good. I was good. just thinking that. Yeah, Remind Kershaw me and Bassett will be the pitching <laughs> matchup. Clayton Kershaw <laughs> thinking, give coming me, off give the injured list. Oh, yeah. Take public transportation.